Well, good evening and welcome to the Arbor Hills Nature Preserve in Plano, Texas. Tonight's exercise is a very quick field test of the Seek Thermal Nano 300. I'm running on an iPhone 16 Pro Max. I originally got this device for doing temperature measurements on flashlights and headlamps. Of course, I'm always interested in any other utility that I might get out of a product. I have run some tests indoors, and I'd have to say I was uh, not all that pleased with the results, especially relative to uh, FLIR units that I've seen with the MSX, particular with large areas with almost no temperature differential. So these areas are pretty much the same color. The video comes out much grainier, and that's where the uh, outlines in MSX on the FLIR can come in. Very helpful, but I don't work indoors. I work generally outdoors in search and rescue. I have no idea how useful this device might be from the standpoint of doing thermal detection, as the saying goes there's only one way to find out. So, without further ado, let the sun go down and we're going to get out there and find out.
All right, well, that was an interesting set of tests. I think I got a lot of information from a personal perspective on how I might use this unit. Of course, it's never going to compare to a top tier thermal monocular. I've typically used a Pulsar Axion in the past, and if I were to grab a thermal unit specifically for search and rescue, that would probably be it. The play here, of course, is the combination of something that's extremely small and lightweight, along with the fact that I have my iPhone with me anyway. So it may be the case that just for light detection purposes, I might use this uh, for instances where thermal would probably not be something I would think of as a piece of kit that I would use consistently throughout the night. But if I have this on me, it's better than having no thermal at all. I'll probably continue doing tests if there's something else you'd like to see. Uh, leave a comment. I'll see what I can do. I think you also may find it interesting that it's a pretty crisp and cool night tonight, but the sun was out all day. And even well after dark, the trees and concrete still maintain a lot of thermal energy, and it takes uh, considerably longer than one might think before they dissipate all that energy. But that's just uh, an intriguing observation I've made over the years in using uh, thermal casually as well as in search and rescue. And on that note, I'm going to shut it down for tonight. And as always, until the next review, thank you very much for your time and thank you for watching the video.